Hi, this is Brian Job, technical trainer for Parts Now, bringing you another Parts Now tech tip. So today I have the HP LaserJet P3015. This guy's been having a problem in the field. Tray one, manual feed or bypass tray, is continuing to pick up. When you first turn it on, that roller starts and it just goes until the engine stops. So obviously we got something going on over here in this gear assembly that we need to figure out. So what we're going to do today is show you how to take all the covers off, get down to this area, so we can figure this out together. So here we go. First of all, let's start by showing you exactly what it's doing. Plug it in, we'll power it on. Okay, hear that bumping noise? All right, that tray is just continuing. All right, so we see what it's doing. Let's turn it off and unplug it. All right. We'll turn around to the back first. Back door, you open it up. It's going to hit some resistance here. You're going to push down past that resistance. It won't break, I promise. There's a white arm over here to the side. You're going to want to pull up on that arm. It's going to spring loose. Okay. You got a screw right here. And another one right over here. Once those are loose, you should be able just to take the bottom of this, pull out, and pull down, and the whole door comes off. Okay, once we have that done, we're going to take off the left door. Let's go ahead and remove this little panel. You just pull it out, and it rotates out from the top. And then the left door, as you're looking at it from the front, has one screw here. There we go. Okay, you want to get a small screwdriver or something? to release these pressure points here. There's one right up in here. There we go, it's starting to let loose now. There's one there on the bottom. There's one right here in the middle on the top. We gotta get loose. All right, that's starting to come loose now. Gonna wanna open this front door. Now we'll proceed to take off this cover. Once you got it all loose, you're gonna slide it towards the front of the machine and it will come off. All right, now we're gonna deal with the front door. This can be a little tricky, so you wanna be careful with it. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead. You see this little white arm over here? There's a tab on top and bottom. We're gonna push those towards the center and release that arm. Just let the metal part just flop around there, okay? That just gives us a little more room to work with. Okay, now from here, what we're wanting to do is slide this door to the left. Okay, you have to remember there's a pin on the pin on each side of this door. So one here and one back here. Okay, there are four holes that has to line up with that pin. So remember that reattaching it. That gets a little tricky. You got to line up all four holes. It helps sometimes if you just kind of wiggle the door back and forth as you're sliding it, either on or off. That'll help keep it together and keep it uh, get it to, to to move a little easier. So let's start uh, start pushing towards the left. It's starting to go. There we go. It's loose. Once it's loose, you're going to open the door all the way. You have this white tab that's kind of keyed in. You want to get that loose. So that'll come loose once the door is all the way open. All right. Front door's done. Okay, let's go ahead and take off this paper tray while we're here. Now, we're going to get over here to the right side as you're looking at it from the front. Formatter cover just pops loose, slides towards the back. Okay, one screw right here. And then this cover will slide to the back. Now, we got a screw right up here on top. And then one right here. That's going to release this top cover. Now that's off. Okay, now we have a few more. Right here towards the bottom. It's got a screw that's holding on this front cover. Another one right up here. And the one right above that is holding the display panel in. So we're going to pull that out too. Okay, once those screws are out, Go ahead and unplug your display. Should be able to remove it at this point. 
We have two more screws right here in the front. One at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, once those are loose, you should be able to remove this side panel. Let's pull towards the front. Okay, now what we're looking at here, you can see the gears down inside here. You can see the tray one where the arm attaches to the main gear assembly. You see a white solenoid right here. That solenoid should have a plate here on top that springs. That's what actually causes, makes that uh, pickup roller clutch activate and uh, lets it go into neutral position and then go into engaged position so it picks up. So without it, it's just going to sit there and turn. So we've discovered our problem. Now let's look down in here because that plate's got to be in here somewhere. And I see it right down here. If I can get it out. There we go. There's the plate. Okay, just a little metal plate with a hook on the end. That hook is what activates that clutch. Okay, so that needs to go back up here. So it's got little notches on either side have to fit into these little arms. So it's, we'll line it up. Okay, that's back in, but it's not springing. The spring is missing. Where did that spring go? It's got to be here somewhere. Ah, I think I see it. Let me get my magnetized screwdriver. And there it is. Okay. So, without that spring, it's still not going to work. So, we got to have that spring on there. So, I usually hook it on the top first. And get my little small screwdriver. Where did it go? There it is. And hopefully I can do this without the springs springing across the room. Yeah, and we did. Okay. Now you test it and make sure that spring's going up and down, and it is. So there you go. That should get that up and running. Now the same problem can happen with tray two. Problem with tray two is it's not as easy to get to. If you have this problem with tray two where it's just constantly picking up and it doesn't stop, you got to you got to remove the whole panel on the side this whole metal panel and your controller boards behind it your main boards and there's a plate behind there and then you can get to it it's a little further in the machine but it's the same principle so it can happen to either tray luckily this one was just tray one so that would get this one back up and running in the field just reassemble it the way we took it apart and you should be good to go and uh, hopefully this was an informative uh, tech tip for you but this is brian job just bringing you another parts now tech tip thanks for watching